Hey everyone, I am currently at Iwire right now. Right over here, we are in Lake Forest, California. It's a bit south from where I'm at, uh, up in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm currently here to get the wiring done on my car. It's the very last thing that needs to be done before I can actually start it up. So I'm really excited. It's been a few months now since I first started this project. I bought the STI back in August, I think, of 2018, and it's currently May, actually, of 2019. So. I'm finally happy that it's coming close to an end, so we'll see how that goes. Let's check it out. Brian, so run me through the process of how the harness merge comes to be from the GC to the STI. Yeah, so merge. first step is take out your entire dash so that we can get the harness in the car, out of the car. Then we strip down the STI harness to just the key components for ECU and engine. Then we replace the ECU engine section of your RS with that of the STI and make all the necessary um, components connect to each other, so things like your check engine light and your radiator fans and your fuel tank all are connected, so we reuse the original RS harness so things like headlights and doors all work and make just the necessary changes for the new parts. Hmm. And then put it all back in, plug it in, hope it works. On average, how long do you think a merge itself would take once you have all the wires together? Once we have everything out of the car and on the table, um, stripping a harness takes a little less than an hour. Mm -hmm. Just from uh, the dash, right? Just from the dash. From, okay. So that's the stripping down the STI harness. Okay, okay. Uh, once we've had everything out of the car and we have it on tables, mm -hmm. from that point it takes about an hour to strip the STI harness or WX, whatever it is. Um, and then depending on the complexity of the merge, so between the features, so mm -hmm. cruise control, cluster swap like Tay's doing back there, something the like that. Creature comforts. Creature comforts, yeah. additional creature comforts and mm -hmm. things that the STI would have that the RS wouldn't. Mm -hmm that's additional time. But just in complexity, an STI is more complex to merge than a WRX. I see, I see. Because the STI has drive-by-wire and a mobilizer and other features yep. that a two-liter WRX would be similar to an RS in setup, so there are fewer extra things we've got to add in. So ranges anywhere from four to 10 hours, depending that's, on the complexity. Yeah. And what's your, what's, uh, what's your record? What's your Olympic record on this? The Olympic record, uh, I mean, an RS WRX, Probably two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. An STI is probably in the. Yours was pretty quick, and it was probably around four. That's some some Usain Bolt type thing right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Later.
Alright, so here at iWire, you guys are finishing up, wrapping things up here with the car. Brian right here is actually fiddling with my harness merge. They finished it last night. Pretty cool looking. Brian, what's happening right now? You get your swap number sticker, which mm -hmm. makes it official. What number is it? One, one three, 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 one, three, uh, three, seven. Uh, <laughs> uh, that looks like a two, but I'm not great with math. So. All right, let's let's, let's stick it on there. Don't screw it up. Oh no, no, it's not perfect. That's beautiful. So Brian, what do we have going on here? Well, it brought you my column here. And it <laughs> might look like we're trying to steal the car, but I promise we're not. Yeah. Trying to make it so that your car won't get stolen. Exactly. So we need to get the ignition cylinder and key off of this column to put it on your RS so you can get the chip key working and that way people can't steal your car so easy. I stealed it. I don't steal it. Magic. And that's how you don't steal cars, kids. Uh, that one's same grommet, yeah. Just go straight up and over. Yep. There you go. That's the one. I just laid everything over the top edge before you brought it. Yeah, that's fine. That's all I need. Mm -hmm. Boom. Done. Fired up. All right, so most of the car is pretty much buttoned up. The wiring is pretty much all done. So if you look at the car, um, it's not all there, but it's enough to get it started. Uh, we're gonna run the crank right now, see how it goes. Brian's gonna let it rip. Oh my God, I have an S yet. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Yeah. Cut to donuts. Fuck you, donuts. Fuck you, donuts. Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck you, donuts. Sweet man, congratulations. You have a car. My God, that was beautiful. So as you guys saw, the car is currently running right now. We started it up and everything seems good right now. Uh, we're gonna drop the intercooler in because without an STI logo, it's not really an STI. Brian here is proof, look at that. Let's Boom. See. Let's see. Let's see if I can put it on the first try. Oh my God. Oh, well you have it wrong. You have that wrong. <laughs> you have that part wrong. But it's it's it's, it's SDI. Oh yeah, STI, STI. There you go. It's it's an STI, guys. <laughs> you recording? We better drive it for the first time. See how it handles and figure it out. Oh my god. 
Everything's shaking, and my brakes are super soft, and the clutch is kind of weird. But it runs, so that's all that matters right now. I'm so happy. Oh crap. Alright, here we go. First drive, first impressions. I'm so happy. E brake. So it looks like most everything is in. The dash is finally in. The gauge cluster should go in soon. Brian's making some final touches right now, and it's it's looking good, man. It's really looking good. Brian. So. Thank you. You're that welcome. was bad. That was bad. Let's do it again. Thank you. I'm left. I'm not a lefty. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm not a lefty either.